Hello everybody, back here with some more NBA, as you can see. So we're going to do our normal skipping to the fifth game here. So we're going to skip to the Timberwolves. So, all right, let's see what happens here. Hopefully I can get through this season. I haven't been able to get through a season forever. Hey T-Rock, I just thought I'd bring it to your attention that it doesn't feel like we're pushing the guys hard enough at practice. They're all super rest and we're sacrificing our ability to improve in progress. Sure, why not? Uh, so what am I going to do here? How do I push them harder? <laughs> it's here, very high. Very high workload, there. There you go. All right, now what's happening? Let's see what happens this time. Tim Duck. Oh, come on. Oh, what the freak? I just came back to play a Tim Duncan gets hurt? Are you kidding me? Oh, fine. Who's gonna freaking replace Timmy? Oh. No one will replace Timsta. Should we do put Anderson in? Yes, we'll put Anderson in. Alright, Anderson, get in there. I have to reduce Timmy's freaking minutes and give them all to Anderson for now. Not that much. Uh, who should else should we give the minutes to? Let's give it to Key Gil Chris. He's going he's getting up there. Uh who else? Mike Miller? There we go. That'll work. We got two centers in there. Alright. Please don't make any more disasters. Oh. Hey, t Rock, as I'm sure you're aware, the team has an uphill battle to climb with our recent big injury. I think you should consider picking up Udonis Haslam from the free agent wire to fill the void. Uh, Haslam is... Isn't Haslam pretty old? What's his... What's uh, his stats? I would like to know. Oh my god. Here, we'll sign him for now. With Tim Duncan going down with what looks to be a lingering injury, how is the team going to hold up his absence? Uh, really? Who freaking knows? To be honest, I don't know the answer to that question. We're going to learn really fast how good this team is without Tim. Your team's winning streak now sits at five. Do you think it'll last? Uh, sure. Yeah, it'll last. Not just one more game, not two. And then we already seen that. I screw the press. Who cares? It's my answer, son. Uh-oh. Lake guys are calling. Hey, T-Rock, I have a trade offer for you that I think you might be interested in. All right. Let's see what you got. Uh, Isaiah Thomas for Aaron Brooks. Um, I don't like this too much. J.J. Hickson could be good, but no. Decline. Sorry, Justin. Kind of a crap trade a little bit there, boy. Hey, T-Rock, I want to let you know we have a game against Joaquim Noah coming up, and he's currently ranked number one in rebounds. We should adjust our game plan for the Timberwolves. Uh... So these are all the rotations. I think the rotations are pretty good. What the freak? Why's Chalmers all the way down there? Get him up there. Should be ahead of freaking Mike Beasley. Ah, crap. There we go. Alright, so we're going against Noah. Matchups. Where's Jakeem Noah? Why is Tim Duncan in there? Now. Oh my god, we're going against a little freaking these guys. What the frick's this crap? No. 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 Isaiah Thomas. 
There we go. Kid Gilchrist on Serge Ibaka. There we go. Um, Noah. Well, Anderson's going to have his hands full with that matchup. All right. All right, here we go. My overall is completely sucky right now. Like, who gives a freaking crap? It's about Sports the team, Begin right? Show. Sponsored by oh, yeah, Sprite. Shaq, man. Hello again, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson. Welcome to 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us and the legendary Shaquille O'Neal sitting alongside. Tonight's broadcast will feature the Denver Nuggets as they go up against the Minnesota Timberwolves. And taking a look here at the Timberwolves, they split the season series against these guys last season, two games apiece. Should be a good one tonight. Shaq, you look around the league, uh, some of the NBA's best players are often the NBA's smartest players. Do you think basketball IQ is underrated? I think it's very underrated. If you look at a player like LeBron, you see his strength, his athleticism, and his skill level. His vision and awareness, I will put him over top. Great IQ, very unselfish. And I think that's a big part of that, Ernie. Do you have a high basketball IQ? Of course I do. They call me the Einstein of big men. Oh, I'd forgotten. E Let's go. equals MC squared, Ernie. What's that mean? Don't know. Me either. Here's saw Kevin it. Harlan. <laughs> I saw it on a test one time. <laughs> I missed it on a test one time. Let's be Joe. All right, here we go. Center. Six feet, ten inches. All right, I don't really feel like watching everyone coming out right. Oh, where, where? No, Timmy, you're out of it. No, get out of it, here, Timmy. You are hurt, me. Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. All right, it's let's go. NBA action. Tough competition to go Keller. up again. This is Kevin Harlan. It's all, right. all about the Western Conference. Isaiah. That's where the action is today as the Denver Nuggets get ready to battle. This is their first chance this season playing the Timberwolves. Oh, the come on, man. Get the stupid right down the middle. These teams were quite evenly matched. Screw you. Well, they split the have season to series with that with a year video. ago. These two teams were very evenly That's matched. Cool crap. We've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this one. Oh. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, oh, we've got a Ibaka. Jackson is out there with Mark, and it's Come Trevor on, Reese, this. and it's Noah in at the center, locking down the middle. Now here is Mark. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Let's the free fly. Come on. A reason. Nice. Both of them would love to surprise people. Maybe work their way up into you know contention for one of the lower seasons. You're right. There you go. To, but Beautiful. neither team has fared well at all in this conference. Right. They both pretty that much really been sucks. bottom that feeders. Stupid message is going to be up there. You know what? How long is the freaking update? God Outside dang Jackson. Screw it. I don't feel like getting out of this. This is the Martin. And the whistle blows. Oh, oh no. My kick you, Chris. Chris. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. I can't Here freaking the first, update. A little over a minute played so far. Noah with a screen for Ibaka. Back to Ariza. Five on the clock. It's Abaka that time on the assist by Ariza. I like that. Getting their offense started with a high quality there look down go. low. Let's Clark, get this I think done. the more points they can get inside today, the better off they'll be. Now, here's Thomas. He had 13 points in the win against the Nets in Brooklyn. And how about his defense? Four steals on the night. He was so aggressive. Ah. Uh, he's been trying to add that mid range shot to his arsenal, but it still isn't there. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. They're coming off that win against the Nets. And it was the go, go, go. players uh, in that game, Kevin, that really led the charge. You know, the guys who normally ah. score a lot, they came in and really contributed. Crap. A total team performance, Steve. The kind you need if you're going to win on the opponent's home floor. For Denver, they go, go. just one of four to get this game started. Michael Kidd Gilchrist, the second overall pick back in 2012. And Park, as you know, an NCAA champion. You saw it firsthand with Kentucky. Yeah, you know, I like his disposition. God I love dang his motor. It. I mean, his defense, his size, athleticism. He's an excellent rebounder for ah. his position and size. He can defend up to three or four positions on the court. 
you know, you look at him, and I don't like to compare guys, Kevin, but you know, he reminds me a bit of a young go. Gerald Wallace type. Go. Wright sets a screen for Thomas. No luck. Great Thanks. defense that time from Noah. Minnesota in the lead. Ariza with it. Now Thomas defending. Ariza dishes to Martin. Right. Uh-oh. The putback and finished off by Noah. God dang it. Tell you what, Sucks. they want to do a better job of boxing this fellow out than that. Right, no one between go. him and the hoop. You're right, Clark. Yeah, One for putback six. slams right. are not what you want to be giving up if you're the defense. Now, here's Thomas, averaging 16 right, points right. a game. Leonard against Ariza. Leonard kicks to Kid Gilchrist. And another miss by another Denver. Miss. One. Timberwolves leading by four. It's Ariza on the wing. He's covered by Leonard. Uh oh. Jackson gets Another the bucket. Drainage. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. Hey, no one's making Reggie shots. Jackson is really strong and athletic. Excellent drive when finishing, especially when yeah, working off good. the pick and roll. A different look for Denver. Duncan comes in for Anderson, and it's Thornton in for Kawhi Leonard. And a change for the Timberwolves. Barnes is checked in. Now here's Duncan. Uh -oh. That's stolen by Ibaka. Ow. Why Timmy shouldn't be freaking playing. And Jackson, a good three-point shooter at Boston good, good. College. But it seems Steve uh -oh. is still adjusting to the NBA three-point range. Christian well, Grannis. last year he shot about three of them per game, Kevin. All right. Uh, made a little more than a third of his attempts. So he needs to shoot a better oh, percentage uh, from the corners in particular. But, you know, as a ball handler, he's a, he's a good setup man, good Ooh. assist man, and really good all-around guard. Minnesota shooting their first foul shots of the night here. Well, this is a club that has hit about 80% of its free throws during the season. Very impressive number. And they've made progress in that department from last season going into this one, guys. I mean, the numbers have improved. Catching up on the changes for Denver. Michael Beasley, right. he's Go. checked in for right. Miller comes in for Kip Gilchrist. And it's way, Chalmers in for Isaiah Thomas. Now here's Duncan. And he gets it to go. Exceptional play to take the yeah. bump and still get it up and down. Yeah, way to stay with him. There we look go. to finish the play right there. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Reggie Jackson. Right, here we go. You know, I get the feeling that Tim Duncan would make a mean poker player with his reluctance to display uh, emotion on the court. It's pretty clear when he's on the court, the big fundamental is all go. business. We'll go to Doris Burke, who moments ago spoke with head coach Flip Saunders. And uh, Doris, what do you have to say? They'll be up against a future Hall of Famer in Tim Duncan in this one, and I asked him how Duncan changes what they do on the defensive end. Oh, he relayed that he fans. told his guys not to be over-aggressive with him in the post, Please saying, if we start fighting on every fake he throws our way, we'll all be in foul trouble. We can't let that happen. We'll see if they can oh. avoid just that, guys. All right, Serge Doris. Block is too good. And you talk about Duncan's reserved demeanor, right, snubbed from the All-Star game last season, but you never hear him complain. That's just not how he does things. Now, here's no, no. Chalmers. Go, go, go. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Come on. And it's Miller penetrating. Unloads. Uh, and it comes off the front of the rim. Fine. And for Doug, yeah, as respected rim. Clark as he is, you wonder if he's gotten the recognition that he truly deserves. Uh. Well, it's like a lot of things, Kevin. Sometimes you don't truly appreciate it until it's gone. But he's... One of the 10 best players of all time in my book. Consistency, high-level performance, championships, every measure you use uh, to evaluate nice him makes him one of the 10 best to play. About three seconds between shot and game clock. They set the pick. Nash drives in, uses the glass to finish the layup. Nash has got his first two points of the night. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effectively. Yeah, and until they do, the problems inside are only going to get worse. Thornton passes to Duncan. Hey. Second change shot. And the release oh was before the buzzer, the but it's all Holy target. Crap. Welcome back, everyone, to lopsided first quarter, and the book's already Ooh, as we start this second seven. quarter. Mm. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in this first half. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. On the court for the Timberwolves as our second quarter is underway. Napier is out there with Martin. And it's Trevor Ariza. 
Then there's Noah, and it's Barnes in at the four slot. And it's Napier missing. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Now, here's Thornton. He picked up 18 points in their last win against Brooklyn. And that one's nice. good. Anderson's got the first basket yeah. of the second quarter for Denver. A lot of points you don't need much up. range to hit from that distance, Kevin. There were a lot of hopeful Minnesota fans thinking they had a chance at the playoffs last year early, but injuries and slumps derailed their season. Oh, wow. And that is good. They're definitely on a hot streak. I'm second quarter of basketball, streak. about one minute played so far. Now, here's Thomas. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Baseline J on the way. A shot's nice. good for Oak win. So the Timberwolves called their first time out. Coming into this, having matched a win against points. Cleveland in their last game. No and defense. they were able to battle really back in the fourth quarter that game, being up. down as much as they were, made it a really special win for them. Well, I hope they enjoyed it because you're not going to get many wins like that. I mean, having to dig themselves out of the hole they got themselves into doesn't happen very often. Nice. Kid Gilchrist, he's checked in for Marcus Thornton. Ahead, here's O'Quinn. Are you serious? Again. You really missed that? You serious? You really missed that? And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Thomas. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Here's Napier. And yes, sir, oh that one God. drops. Of course, they can Napier's make an easy layup. The court. My guys missed These defenders it, like, look overmatched right now, especially inside. Yeah, you look at the numbers. 10 of the last 12 points have come from close range, so I agree. Uh, now, here's Thomas. Leonard with no on, one. Boy, Leonard. Oh, Had yeah. a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off now. target. He's up, power down after the assist, let him into the lane. Well, he's just dangling from the rim after sending it through there. You can see which team now has the swagger, Clark, right now. Yeah, it's hey, well, exactly. It's with them. Yeah, but you don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up, though, either. O'Quinn in the post, covered by Barnes, and O'Quinn kicks to kick. Oh, what the and freaking the heck? Come on, violation. man. Now let's take a look now at some of the most explosive uh, players in the yeah, NBA. Yeah. The highest scoring small forwards of the past month with best Kawhi Leonard. Those are some tremendous athletes as we're used to seeing at that spot on the floor. You know, they can pretty much all give phenomenal individual performances on any given night. And most nights, that's exactly what they do. Every team wants and needs scoring from the I'm small forward position. And all of the players on that list provide us. Their low post defense has to show some improvement, guys. Yeah, the, of the last 10 points, Steve, eight have come from in tight. Joakim Noah, one of the great effort players yes, in the NBA. His energy horrible. and mobility enable him to make his impact felt all over the court. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. Outside for Thomas. Fires it up. And he hits the jump shot. Thomas got five points so far. Great interplay there between those two teammates. Oh, you talk about Noah's energy and hustle. His oh offensive my God, rebound still is amazing. a huge plus man. for their offense. And his speed in transition creates problems for the opposing big man as well. So it's Denver now. After the basket by Minnesota. Thomas kicks to Leonard. Up off the screen. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Now that was pretty. That was just a nice looking reverse jam right there. Use the rim, Clark, to protect the ball, I think, too, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. did a nice job with it. Yeah, no question, Kevin. Great awareness and a terrific finish. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Uh, well, thanks, Kevin. Matt Barnes Anderson, out of UCLA, of course, an energy that, and effort bro. player. He brings toughness and a defensive mindset. And he said, uh, I always look forward to guarding the best player. My thing is to stay into them and make them uncomfortable with pressure. You want to make them work hard and not allow them to get anything easy. Kevin, back to you. A versatile defender and much improved as a shooter over the years, Doris. Thanks. Denver with a platoon swap here on the floor. At the defensive end, Steve, Noah is a key player. Yeah, last season's defensive player of the year, Kevin. It gives you rebounds, blocks, steals, but what impresses me the most is his ability to guard uh. on the perimeter against screen and roll when he switches out onto point guards. He's unmatched in that category. Nash dishes to Jackson. Here's Ibaka. 
Can't get it to go. And it's Denver the other way. Of I'm playing better defense now. For the and next one. my and guys will be the still game of this three game home stand. Wow. He was just wide open there. That's way too easy. 103 left to play here in the half. Nash kicks to Meeks. Back to Nash. Uh, and he goes I didn't even area. ask for freaking double and coverage, but of course, my, the AI felt like I needed it. The Nuggets have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Uh, over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Here's Duncan. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, for Tim Duncan with age, the Spurs have looked to reduce his minutes load during the regular season. But when he's on the court, he remains as efficient as ever. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in for Denver. And Duncan last season averaging close to a double-double in less than 30 minutes a game as dominant on the glass as ever, Tim Duncan. Oh, still misses. Holy freaking crap, man. Limit his easy chances inside. Jackson misses. The Nuggets trail by 14. And it's no penetrating. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Here's Meeks, covered by Miller. Meeks can't hit. Now, right inside. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. Denver shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And for the season, guys, they're about 73% from the line. So there you go. Kind of a, a, a mediocre shooting. Now club. I got a whopping You know, they really put themselves behind the eight ball in so many of their games because they just have not been able to knock down those foul shots. And the second half just about to get going here. Without question, Serge Ibaka displaying his skills today. That was fun watching him in the first half, just breaking out the entire arsenal of post moves. Yeah, I think he might even have a few more tricks up his sleeve, and he'll break them out as we start heading down the stretch here. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Chris Anderson. Then there's Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Then it's Thomas, and it's right in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's who Brian Shaw starts the second half with. Just five to shoot. Noah with a screen on Kid Gilchrist. Oh, Wide no open. Of course. Oh my From God. From outside, off the mark. Kind of rare to see him come up empty on a wide open look. You know, the Denver Nuggets had a ton of injuries last year. It's hard to say exactly where this team could have ended up if they were able to stay healthy. And there's the feed to Ariza. Uh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster nice jam. Day. I'm not sure how I like this one. He used the rim to get some true hang time there. No, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. Okay, <laughs> I'll buy that. Uh, I'll yeah, buy that right. for now. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. Mm, tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happens. Leonard with the ball. And it's Martin picking him up. Come. Leonard, the pass to Anderson. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. He doesn't usually foul go. from out there. Kid Gilchrist has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Minnesota leading by six. Martin dishes to Jackson. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Minnesota is in a difficult spot with their road games. They always have to travel a great distance to get to opposing sites because they're in the Western Conference, and that can take a toll over the course of the season. I guess you could say those lengthy travel distances for Minnesota took their toll last year because the Timberwolves Managed only 16 road wins a season ago. Now let's go to the 2K leaderboard. These teams have been training everything they've put up this month. The Nuggets number one. So, yeah, Kevin, it's been a long right month now. for anybody who plays these guys. I mean, they've been shooting the lights out. And it's been game after game after game. 
Well, guys, Minnesota was close to a 500 team last year at 40 and 42. But as you said, struggling on the road kept them, Steve, out of the playoffs. Well, to make the playoffs in the West, I mean, I, I think you have to go at least 500 on the road. And getting road wins is where Minnesota will have to improve to get back to the postseason. And now we get a chance to check out the numbers for Kawhi Leonard. An incredible last month for him. You see where he stands. Second in field goal percentage. Sixth in three-point field goal percentage. Out and he's really way. worked hard at his offensive game. He ranks in the top Come ten on. in that uh, category. Points per game. Come on, Anderson. You haven't even got field like, goal percentage against Steve. I mean, that's game. really a Come function on, of man. good teammates, a good system. But most of it is just taking good shots and oh making God. most of them. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. The Nuggets trail by ten. And Thomas, here we go. It's Kid Gilchrist on the wing. And the shot is good. Kid Gilchrist has got five points so far. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Outside Jackson. Abaka with a screen on Kid Gilchrist. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Taking a look at Denver. They're sitting pretty. Second place and uh, looking to take the top spot. And checking out Minnesota. Not in the same realm right now in terms of their record. Looking at the Nuggets, they're really quite an incredible success story. After coming into the season with such low expectations, they've really turned the league on its ear. They've been very impressive. You know, I thought it would take them a long time to get all the pieces to fit this year, but... Come on, Let man. Me that. I mean, those pieces Billy. were already in place. It's seemingly right out of training camp. Right? And finished off by Martin. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. Lack of concentration and alertness, a turnover, and an easy bucket the other way in transition. Man, if we see a few more of them, this game could be in danger of getting out of hand quickly. Here's Beasley following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Back to Thomas. Bucket six. Pass to right. Tries from seven. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Intelligent passing there to make that hoop possible. Timberwolves leading by eight. Isaiah Thomas actually named after the former Pistons great. You might think his father was a big fan, but it's actually the opposite. His dad was a, a Laker fan. He lost a bet during the 1989 finals. Incredible story. Pistons went on to beat the Lakers, so he had to name his son Isaiah. I guess he'd be named Magic. Afraid. Here's Kid Gilchrist. That one falls, coming off of Thomas's feet. Thomas got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Napier. He's guarded by Thomas. Napier gets to a reason. Barnes, screen on Leonard. Reza, he dishes it to Noah. Come on, rebound. Another shot. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did, preventing the and one for the Nuggets. Tim Duncan, he's checked in for right. Thornton comes in for Kid Gilchrist. And it's Chalmers in for Isaiah Thomas. Mike Scott's checked in for Minnesota. Nash comes in for Kevin Martin. And with that shot, the Minnesota Leafs cut to just five on the basket from Leonard. Another good pass, and their offensive execution has been impressive, to say the least. The last four field goals have been assisted. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance, but to get assist, you got to make a shot. Wild. No problems knocking that one down. And it's six points for Barnes. 1.14 left to play in the third. And Chalmers kicks to Leonard. Duncan with a screen for Leonard. Chalmers. Oh, come on. You really missed that? The other way. And yeah, right 16. to the freaking ramp. Come on. I'm so tired of the wide open freaking misses. And so here's Denver following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Here's Duncan. That's oh my Leaps god. Why is this game being so re freaking Two retarded? By nine. Not sure if they're aware of the two-for-one opportunity they have. Well, they need to be. Scott can't get it to go. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Or the defenders have to make sure they tag it. Yeah, miss, of course. Yes, of course. 
Barnes passes to Nate. I wonder why I don't like playing NBA as much. Nash with it. Averaging nine points per contest. Barnes sets a screen for Nash. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Tries to hit him. Shot is blocked. Here's Thornton. And no luck. Down by nine again. Never going to catch it's up. My guys keep missing NBA. wide open shots. Uh. And Steve, we've got a moment here to go to our State Farm assist of the game, coming on some very clever point guard play. Well, he mans that position for a reason, Kevin, because he passes the ball so well, sets up his teammates beautifully, really gets this offense into a nice rhythm. Delivering the pass important, but, but putting the pass in the right place for shooters, as you well know, you. Yeah, no question. And a look at the great. five for the Timberwolves That's to start the point. They've got Trevor Ariza. Matt Barnes is out there. And right to the Then it's Joey I'm Meeks. Sorry. And it's Jackson in at the one. Sure well, that's is. the easiest opportunity an offense can get off a of steal. Exactly. No defense for that. Anderson a screen on Jackson. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. It's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. Michael Kidd Gilchrist is checked in for Denver. Now here's Jackson. The Timberwolves working the ball around. Barnes can't get it to go. The Nuggets trail by eight. Outside Thomas. To the middle. And it's Anderson that time on the assist by Thomas. Thomas got assist number five here tonight. Well, they found the touch here in the second half from the field. And Everything else we talk about, folks, rebounding, defense, all of that, this game is still about making shots. you got to put the ball in the back. That's the bottom line. And they found a way to do it here in the second half. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Martin's checked in. Doesn't really Tell us against Jackson. Shots good by Ibaka. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. Thomas against Jackson. And Thomas, here we go. Ah. And here is Kid Gilchrist. It's Miller on the way. Six on the come shot Come on, clock. man. It's three pointers off the and mark. And a rebound. Well, you what the freak do I have these guys for if they yeah, can't look at They didn't get burned on that one. Leaves it is to Jackson. Outside, I should Mark. just get rid of every of the centers I have. They can't read their balance. Here's a reason. The second chance effort. Look Barnes at this. Kicks to Jackson. No rebounding at all. Oh, oh my God. He feeds it to a reason. The dish to Ibaka. They shoot again. Stolen by Anderson. Kid Gilchrist, the pass to Miller. That's good. You know, it's really going to be all about hard work from this point on. And they worked hard to create that high-quality shot right there. Yeah, and that's their goal down the stretch. Continue to, to find those close-range shots. Now here's Jackson. Left side, Martin. Back to Jackson. Ibaka outside. Feeds it to Martin. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Wright's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Kid Gilchrist. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Michael Kid Gilchrist was in six weeks last season with a broken hand. And frankly, he took a step back overall. His numbers getting worse almost across the board. Leonard, he's checked in for Miller. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Minnesota. And a player taken second overall two years ago. A lot of pressure hiding on the shoulders of MKG. You know, sometimes guys fall into draft positions that don't necessarily match their skill level, but you can never question the work ethic of this young man. And really? You know he's going to maximize whatever he can be as a pro because of that. Oh, he my God. I hate why the they freaking fade. Come on. Jackson with it. Now Thomas defending. 
Never going to make that shot, ever. Ibaka, this is to Martin. Ariza outside. The pass to Jackson. Shoots from the line. Jackson missing again. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he has gone ice cold here. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. Uh, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. It's going to be Martin shooting. It's on Kawhi Leonard. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Minnesota. Well, the great passing we saw in the first half has carried right over into the second. Another thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint for plenty of those close-range points. you got to have those. Good on the shot. And his man straight into that screen to open the lane up for the hoop. The Timberwolves have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Outside Jackson, shot from 12. Stolen by Thomas. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating, and Anderson gets it to go. It seems like they're finding an open lane of the hoop every time now. There's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sideline. Hi, Kevin. Flip Saunders was just going over the plan with his team. It was pretty upbeat. Oh, my he God. What? Next time, guys. Clearly, he was aware of their underdog status. <sighs> Seeing the Nuggets unable to defend against Ibaka. 12 points and the one steal. I tell you what, he's made his mark on this game in so many ways, guys. Yeah, just on the strength of his defense alone, he would have Oh my out, god, no threes! You can't ball. make three, of course. Really yep. And rebounding is one of those non glamorous oh stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. And much more aggressive play has led to more free throw attempts for them here in the second half. You know, that's how you do it, Steve. I mean, defender pressing up on you, you press right back, get into it. Ah, I still can't make the three. A freaking course. Timberwolves leading by nine. Freaking screw this. In the fourth quarter. Leonard with the steal. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. That's 12 points for Kawhi Leonard. He is pointing on in the second half, guys. I mean, a much better showing than he had before the break. Martin with it. Picked up by Kid Gilchrist. And lots of contact there. Anderson's so such a two. freaking moron. Oh, my God. He hits the first one, and that stretches their lead to eight. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a nine-point ball game here. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth. Thomas kicks to Leonard. Sinks the triple. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Minnesota shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. Jackson passes to Martin. And Wright pulls it down. The defender was in his jersey that time, Steve. And it rattled him. He clearly was not comfortable at all on the release. About seven seconds separating the shot and game uh, play. You know, even though he's bite-sized... Oh he doesn't even have a hand, hand in it. Really Face. Come on. <sighs> So the first one drops and I got a yeah, freaking ulcer from this stupid game. Denver with a platoon swap here on the floor. Minnesota also making some changes. Mike Scott's checked in for a buck. Jody Meeks comes in for Trevor Reason. And it's Napier in for Martin. Denver calls timeout. They trail by eight. 20 seconds left to play in the final quarter. What do you think, guys? Well, this one's in the bag. I mean, I commend them for really putting forth the effort until the very end. But this thing's over. You know, sometimes you just have to throw up the white towel and let fate run its course so you can get on to the next game. Allen Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by nine. And both free throws good for Napier. And it just feels like those are the free throws that 
probably put I this game out of range. I freaking enjoy Madden much more than this freaking game. Here's Chalmers. There's the three. No hand in his face. Of course. Isn't Chalmers so supposed to be good threes? But no, he's... no shot. How much to be critical up with this wing, Clark? Wow. Oh, I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did. My God, at the beginning of the game, I really tried not to get frustrated, but I just can't take it. Kevin, I'm here. Screw this. St screw stupid Steve Nash. Look at this. Stupid, not who was three and eight. Kid Gilchrist, of course, all, like always. 